Good morning, welcome outdoors. Today I have an energizing morning yoga flow for you. So it's gonna start off with some gentle stretching and then we'll get into more of a power yoga style. So grab your mat, take a deep breath, and let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start in child's pose. So make your way to child's pose. You can have your knees together or your knees apart, whatever is more comfortable for you right now. Spread your fingertips, arms extend forward, and then exhale the forehead down to the mat. And tune into the breath here. So take a few deep breaths in and out through the nose, just becoming present on the mat. and bringing your thoughts to a positive, loving place to start your day. Feel the inhale and exhale, releasing any tension. Anytime you catch your mind wandering to all the things you have to do today, just bring it on back to the sound of your breath. One more breath here. On your next exhale, begin to walk your fingertips over towards the right. And then exhale, getting a nice side body stretch on the left. Inhale, crawl those fingertips back through center. And then exhale them to the left and feel that stretch on the right side of the body. Inhale back through center, exhale here. And then inhale, come up to tabletop. So bring the hands right underneath the shoulders, the knees underneath the hips. Inhale, on the exhale, drop the belly, take the gaze up. And then Tuck the tailbone, reverse here, spread the shoulder blades, exhale. Inhale, drop the belly, take the gaze up. And exhale, tuck the tailbone, spread the shoulder blades. So just keep going here at your own pace, nice and gentle, slowly warming up the body. You can wiggle side to side, whatever feels good. Take one more of each. And then we'll meet in that neutral tabletop position just for a breath. Engage the core here. Then inhale, extend the right hand and the left foot, point the left toes down, strong core here, inhale. Exhale, bring the right hand out to the right, the left foot out to the left, just as much as you can. And then inhale, back forward, hold, and then exhale down. Other side, left hand extends straight, right foot goes back, point the right toes down, find the balance, engage the core. Inhale, then exhale, bring the arm out to the left, the foot out to the right, just a little bit. Inhale back, and then exhale down. One more each side, inhale, right hand, left foot. Exhale, bring them out to the side. Inhale them back through center, and exhale down. Inhale, left hand, right foot. Exhale out to the side, just a little bit. Inhale back. Exhale down. Nice job, tuck the toes and lift the knees. Come into our first downward facing dog. So you want your feet about hip width apart, fingertips spread wide, really press them into the mat. 
exhale as you press the shoulders back tuck the lower belly in and up gaze is in between those legs nice long neck here an extension of the spine make sure the shoulders are not shrugging up towards the ears and maybe eventually the heels come down to the mat. Hold here for a few breaths. You can shake the head no, shake the head yes. On an inhale, lift your right foot up and back exhale drop it down just a little bit in front of the left foot then inhale the left foot up and back and exhale that down so we're just taking walking splits to the front of your mat you can bend the knees as much as you need to moving nice and slowly here so inhaling as the foot goes up and exhaling as it comes down and when you get to the front of your mat just hang out with your feet together in a nice forward fold. Let the head be heavy here. Shake the head no, shake the head yes. Maybe grab a hold of the elbows here. And just totally relax. Not trying to force anything. Release the elbows. On an inhale, slowly come all the way up to standing. And exhale, arms by your side. On an inhale, lift the arms up overhead. Grab a hold of the right wrist and exhale to the left. Again, getting a nice side body stretch. Inhale through center. Exhale, switch your grip. Feeling that nice lengthening on the left side of the body. Inhale back through center. Reach up really tall. And then exhale, swan dive down over the legs. Inhale, come up halfway, making sure that the neck is just an extension of the spine and that you're not crunching it up or tilting your head up so that your neck is crunched. Just nice straight spine here. Then exhale, fold, bring the hands to the mat, step your feet back to plank, and then exhale, lower chaturanga, bending at the elbows. Inhale, slide the chest forward, upward facing dog, tops of the feet, press into the mat roll those shoulders back and then exhale downward facing dog we'll hold down dog for about five breaths or you can always drop into child's pose Two more breaths here. Then we'll begin walking splits again to the front of the mat. So inhale the right foot up and back. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale the left up and back. Exhale, step it forward. So just continue at your own pace here. And when you get to the front of the mat, just hang out in a forward fold. Again, maybe grabbing the elbows and relaxing the head. Release your elbows. On an inhale, slowly make your way all the way up to standing. And exhale, arms by your side. 
Inhale, lift the arms up overhead once more. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale up halfway again, straight spine. Exhale, hands to the mat, step your feet back to plank. And exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Inhale, your right foot up and back. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Spin your left heel down. And then inhale up, warrior two. So you want your shoulders stacked over your hips. Your gaze is right over the right fingertips, right knee over the right ankle. Strong left leg here. Keep breathing. Inhale. And then exhale, reverse. So just twist or tilt backwards. Left hand comes to the back of the left leg. Exhale, the hands down. Frame the right foot. Spin the left heel off the mat. Step the right foot back and either go straight to down dog or exhale chaturanga inhale up dog and exhale down dog take one full breath here and then we'll do the other side inhale the left foot up and back Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Spin the right heel down. Then on an inhale, come up to that warrior two. Shoulders stacked over the hips. Left knee over the left ankle. Make sure it doesn't fall in towards the right. Right leg is strong. Gaze over the left fingertips. Try and keep that focus. Inhale, exhale, reverse. Inhale, back through warrior two, exhale, bring the hands down, step the left foot back. Again, either down dog or exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog and exhale, down dog. Take a couple breaths here. You can always rest in child's pose if you need to. All right, take one more breath. Inhale, right foot goes up and back. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. This time, drop the left knee. You can keep your hands here on the mat. If you want, you can come up, lift them overhead. The hips are sinking down and forward. Really just focus on the breath here. Exhale, the hands down to the mat. Lift your left knee. Step your right foot back to down dog. Inhale, the left foot up and back. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Drop the right knee. And then you can either keep your hands here for some support or inhale the arms overhead. And just breathe into this low lunge. If you guys are hikers like me, this one feels so good. <laughs> and 
and then exhale bring the hands down to the mat lift your right knee and step your left foot back down dog Take one more breath here. Inhale, come forward to plank. You might need to step your hands out a little bit. Find a nice straight back here. The core should be really engaged. Inhale, exhale, crunch the right knee towards the right elbow. Inhale, back to plank. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, back to plank. One more, each side. And then exhale, press back, down dog. Inhale, lift your right foot up and back. Exhale, step it forward, but this time to the outside of your right hand. So a little bit of a wider lunge here. Keep your hands on the mat, the left knee off the mat. If you wanna make this a little deeper, you can come down to the forearms. And then come back to the hands if you were on the forearms. Inhale, exhale, step the right foot back. Inhale, lift the left leg up and back. Exhale, step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Stay here, or you can come down to the forearms. Inhale, come back to the hands, hold at the top, and then exhale, step back, down dog. Inhale, roll forward to plank again. Gonna take two side countries on each side. Inhale, exhale, crunch. Inhale, plank. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, plank. One more each side. And then exhale, down dog. Look forward between your hands. Inhale, and then exhale, drop your knees to the mat. Untuck your toes so that the tops of your feet are flat on the mat. Inhale, exhale as you sit back, slide your hands back and maybe just open up through the chest, roll the shoulders back. If you want, you can even lift the hips, drop the head. And then exhale, drop the hips. The head comes back last, roll forward. Inhale, drop the belly, take the gaze up. Exhale tuck the toes, lift the knees, come back to down dog. We're gonna do that same thing again. So meet me in down dog. Inhale, look forward between your hands. Exhale, drop your knees. Inhale and tabletop. Exhale, untuck the toes, slide the fingertips back behind you, and either just sit on your heels, roll your shoulders back, or inhale, lift the hips, drop the head. Exhale, the hips first, come down, and then the head comes back. Roll back to tabletop, inhale, drop the belly, take the gaze up. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the knees, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, drop your knees and make your way to seated with your legs straight in front of you. I like to actually lift my legs up and inner rotate them so you get a nice seat here. Roll your shoulders back, tuck the lower belly in, really find a lot of length starting from the hips. Bring the hands by your side, fingertips facing forward, inhale, and then exhale, fold over the legs. Maybe you grab the outside edges of your feet or your big toes. You just don't want your 
uh, shoulders crunching up towards your ears. So just find a nice place. Exhale, fold, and just relax here. Focus on the breath. Inhale, look up. Exhale, release your feet. Bring the bottoms of your feet together. Bring your heels as close to your inner thighs as you can. Inhale, keep the elbows close to the ribs and then exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look up. Exhale, slide the feet out to create a nice diamond shape with the legs. Inhale, and exhale again, fold forward. Inhale, look up. Exhale, release, straighten the left leg, bend your right knee, bring the bottom of the foot to the inner thigh on the left leg. Flex the left toes towards your face, so really engage through the left leg. Inhale, roll those shoulders back. Exhale, twist the shoulders to face the front, so it's really just a slight little twist here. And then exhale, fold over the left leg. Inhale, look up. Exhale, release, switching sides. Extend the right leg straight, bend the left knee. Bottom of the left foot comes to the inner thigh on the right leg. Flex the right toes towards the face. Inhale, roll the shoulder blades down the back. Twist slightly, two face straight in front, and then exhale, fold. Inhale, look up. Exhale, release your foot and roll onto your back. Hug your knees in to your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug here. Take a big inhale and exhale through the nose. Inhale again. On the exhale, drop your knees to the left and then take your gaze to the right. Inhale through center, give yourself one big hug. And then exhale your knees to the right, take your gaze to the left. Inhale back to center. Grab a hold of the outside edges of your feet. Draw the knees in towards the armpits. Take a breath 
in happy baby. Put a smile on your face. Hmm. And then hug the knees in. Give yourself one big squeeze here. Inhale. And then exhale. You can relax in a final resting pose on your back or make your way up to seated in a comfortable seated position. Just stay with me for another minute here and take a few deep breaths before you get on with your day. And then if you are on your back, slowly make your way up to seated. And then we'll just end class with a nice breath in through the nose and exhale through the mouth. So bring your hands to your heart, feeling your heartbeat. Inhale through the nose and exhale, side out. Gently open your eyes. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope you enjoyed this energizing morning yoga flow. Go forth, rock your day, and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more outdoor yoga classes and other resources. I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.